players feed on, on energy. That's why home court advantage is such a big thing in football, baseball, basketball, because when you have that fan experience and that atmosphere that just creates that buzz, you get a, you get a better feeling as a player and it, it kind of takes you to the next level. I think the fan experience is, 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 is paramount. I mean, uh, you know, when we talk about you know, winning, uh, I think it does impact winning. I think it impacts uh, the, the player's experience here. You know, one of the things that people always say about Swayze Field is the atmosphere and you know, how different it is playing baseball here than it is in, in other places. Part of that is because uh, the fan experience and what they like about the stadium, all the amenities and being close to the field. And I think that's one of the great uh, jobs that uh, uh, CDFL did you know, in our stadium. When I came here in 2002 and I finished my career in 2005, it was pre-renovation. And the, the, I like to use the word pristine. That's the way I think our stadium looks. Uh, it, it always had that look, but when I came back as a student assistant, uh, I actually came back while I was playing pro ball and walked around with Coach Bianco and we had to wear like a hard hat. You know, it was just rebar and, and, and concrete, so it was kind of hard to really see where it was going. But then when I came back as a, a student assistant coach in 2011 to finish my degree, I remember just, you know, practice is one thing and you see the stadium and it's gorgeous, but then the first game when there was, you know, nine, 10,000 people here and they're going crazy. Uh, I played in the Super Regional against Texas, the first Super Regional that Ole Miss ever hosted. And I remember the electricity just being off the charts. Well, it's twice the capacity now. I mean, it, it gets so loud that you want to put your fingers in your ears. You know, the, the fifth inning where they're, they're doing the whatever they're doing. And the way that the, you know, the acoustics work in the stadium, I mean, it, they feel like they're on top of you, which is great because in Oxford, we have that family experience. So the accessibility that the fans have to our players and being able to be that close to them, I mean, it just makes it for an overall great environment. You know, also, I think from a player standpoint, you know, the under part of the stadium, the locker room, the, the player amenities. And, uh, and once again, I think we're very fortunate here uh, to have one of the best stadiums in the country. As a coach, there's a lot of different ways uh, uh, as you recruit to try to reach you know, uh, your recruiting base and, and the players that, uh, uh, that you're trying to you know, get to your program. And, and certainly one of them's facilities. You know, one of them is bricks and mortar. You know, one, you know, it's locker room, it's stadium. Uh, it's the most tangible thing, uh, I think, through the recruiting process that, that a player uh, sees while he's on campus and, and walks away from. And uh, they really that this is their home away from home. This is where they're they're going to spend the next you know four years of their life, and uh, and and certainly you know we've seen that uh, where you know uh, kids and and parents you know when they walk into our facility, uh, you know uh, comment you know about you know uh, how big it is, how grand it is, how nice it is. Um, it's no doubt that CDFL made an impact in our recruiting. The first thing we do when we bring a recruit down is we walk them into the stadium. We actually come up the elevators that are just right behind you here. When we bring them up here, they get a great view of the whole stadium. They can see everything. It's the best view in the stadium up from up here in the Diamond Club. And what it does is it gives them that, that wow factor. As soon as they walk up, they get to see the whole facility. And it really is. is you, you walk around this wall right here and you're like, wow, what a great stadium. And, and that's the reason we bring them up here first. And then, and then we talk to them about the atmosphere. and and the way the fans interact and, and you know, sell them on, on the idea of Ole Miss and, and the family that we have here at the university. So this is the first place we bring them because we want to wow them. I, I don't really know where the, the, the future is. Uh, you know, that's for the great architects, like uh, the ones at CDFL, uh, I guess, to, to decide. But, but I'll tell you, I think we're, we're, we're at a good start, you know, here uh, in Oxford, Mississippi. You know, they've done a wonderful job. And, and just the way that they've taken a stadium from uh, 1988, 1989, when it was originally built in the renovations in 2009, uh, one of the things that, that I'm so impressed with is when you walk around our stadium, you can't can't tell where the old stadium ended and where the new stadium started. The brick matches everything. It looks like a brand new stadium, and, and actually it was just a renovation back in 2009. So uh, they've done a wonderful job. So I'll leave it to them to, to figure out the future. 